Hey there, Sean Bailey, the Sales Funnel Nerd, and in this video today, you're going to watch me build out the sales funnel that you see here, and I'm going to do it in ClickFunnels. You're going to watch me build this entire sales funnel out in ClickFunnels. You're going to see uh, how to set up the steps and how to set up the products in the sales funnel here, and you'll get to watch me do it so that you can implement this into your business here. So it's really all about building the steps, adding products, and then kind of finalizing things and doing some testing. So I'm going to cover what you see here kind of in the middle. I'm going to set up a $20 offer. We'll have an upsell with a $197 offer, and then a $1,997 offer will be the second upsell in it here. Now, I like to set up my thank you pages after the order has been processed with kind of a video on it just to tell people what's going on, but that could just be text here. So that's what that final page is, uh, but it's really about setting up the sales funnel steps and we'll jump over and do it. But first, I just kind of want to know which one you guys like better, if it's the blueprint uh, design like this, or if you want to see me do out sales panels using these kind of little little graffiti pieces that I have here and doing it on a whiteboard. So let me know underneath here in the comments section. Let's jump over to ClickFunnels and start building funnel. Okay, so here I am over in ClickFunnels and I've kind of just got the bare bones of this set up right now. And we're gonna add in all the pages that you saw from the blueprint there. So uh, I do have an opt-in page set up because I wanna collect that information from them so I can follow up with my email marketing and collect the, their uh, contact information. And real quick, it just looks like this as far as when they come to this page. Pretty simple, I haven't gone in and tweaked it yet, but we'll get to that uh, at the end here. So as far as the funnel now, the first thing we wanna do, of course, is just add in the steps. So we'll add in the first one, and we'll call this, um, just f so that it's clear and we know which one we're talking about, we'll just call this $20 offer. Oops, offer. If you're doing any uh, custom domains or anything, you would enter this information below and then just click create funnel step. So we got our 20. And of course, we want to slide and rearrange this here. So we want opt in and then we want the $20 offer to come in uh, right after that. So we'll move this up. And then we just select which type of page this is. So for this, we're going to select sales, go to sales page, and I'm just going to use a... Uh, VSL page. Now again, I'm just selecting the template. I'll go back and finalize this once I'm done here. So after that comes the order page uh, where they're going to enter their name, credit card information, and actually pay for the product. So we add another fun funnel step and we're just going to call this order page. And then after I've reordered it here, I just go into the type of page under sales, order form, and I'm just going to select the uh, I'll go with this one for now. So now that we've got our order page done, we're going to add in our upsells. So I'm just going to click add new step and we'll call this one $197 offer. Add another step and I'm going to call this one 190 or sorry, $1,997 offer. So now we've got our offers here. So now we just need to reorder our funnel steps. So I'm going to grab my $197 offer because that's going to come right after our order page. So I move this up and drop it right in there. Confirm. And then my second upsell is going to come right after the first. So I just click and drag and reorder. Confirm. And now we've got it set up. Now you see I've got members registration and members area. So most of my products are digital products and I would deliver them in a members only website. Uh, so it's secure access, uh, as well as an easy way for me to deliver the content to them. And if you look through my videos, I've got another video where I show you how to set up a membership website inside of ClickFunnels. So if you want to see that, it's in one of my other videos. But for this one here, I'm just going to leave these in place. So the other step that I need now is just an order confirmation page I would put in that shows them uh, that everything's done, the orders went through, and how to access the product here. So just for that, I'm going to add in a step here. I'll call this order confirmation and throw that into my sales funnel. It's going to put it at the bottom. So I'll just reorder this real quick and confirm. So there we go. The sales funnel is pretty much laid out uh, the way we need it to here. So I'm not going to worry about these bottom two again. So now we'll go back and add in our product. So the first one here, our $20 offer, we're going to actually add the product on the order page here. So this is going to have our VSL. This is where we actually take care of the product. So we click on order page and then over on the top here where it's got products listed, we just click on that and then add in our first product. So we'll just call this one $20 product. Give it a name, just so we know, just so it's clear, $20 product. 
our billing integration, so we're going to have a bunch of them to choose from here. I'm just going to use Stripe for my example, and then we just throw in our price, currency, and whether it's a subscription or one time. So here, product description, this is what they're going to see on their credit card statement. So uh, again, just for the sake of this demo, I'll just call it $20 product. And then boom, create product, and we've got it in place. Now there's a bit more customization we can do, but just for this example, let's get this product set up and show you how to do this here. So we've got our $20 product under our order page, and now we just go down and set up these two pages here. So we go to our $197 offer, so they get hit with our first upsell, and here's where we need to be specific as far as setting this up. So we're going to go to sales, and we're going to click, go with one-click upsell OTO. Here we'll just go with the first one in the list. I'll select this template. And now because I've selected OTO, it's going to give me this option for products over the, uh, on the top here. So same thing, I just repeat the process, click on products, add my product, and this is my $197 product. Again, I just fill in my, my items here, change the price. It really is just this easy. One-time purchase, and again, here you'd put in your description, uh, but this is my $197 product. So, boom, click Create Product. And then I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to go down to my second upsell. Now, this one is my $2,000 product. Same thing, I have to select. Make sure I go with one-click upsell. And with this one, we'll change it. Maybe we'll go with a different template so it's a different look and not the exact same as the previous page. So, I'll go with that template. And up to products here again, add in my product, and then my information. So just so we know, 197 product, Stripe, 1997, and it's a one-time $197 product, and create. So that's it. All three products are set up in my sales funnel here. So as far as the rest of it, now it's just basically going back and finalizing everything, the sales copy and testing here. So uh, I'm not going to go through and edit each one of these pages. You've seen um, as far as the templates, so there is a lot to choose from in ClickFunnels here. If I look at a preview of this page, Right? This is just a basic VSL page. I could go in and change this up however I wanted. The editor is super simple to use. So if I want to customize and go in, here's where I can do uh, a lot of things. So change up my headline. I want to add a little bit more punch to this and change it into the converts website visitors into your new paying customers. Exclamation mark for effect there. Here, maybe I want this download now. It's super simple to use the stuff in here. If I want, maybe the text is too, I want to make it a little bit bigger. I can go, I can even just delete this item if I don't even want this at all. And you can go in and edit uh, certain aspects as well as far as everything's done with padding, just to give you an example here. So maybe I want this opt-in form moved up a bit so it's not below the fold. Just go into my settings, find my bottom padding. Boom, slide it up. Now it's absolutely perfect. I hit save, preview, and then I'm good to go on this page. So that's it. I would just go through and customize and finalize each step uh, as well. And then you can go into your funnel settings. Just click into settings here. You can set up your test mode so that you can go through and do some test purchases and uh, just make everything absolutely perfect so that there's no, there's no hiccups in your funnel. So as you can see, it's super simple. We've gone through and we've created all these items into our sales funnel here. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you have any questions about this video, just shoot me a line and let me know. Uh, in the description below, you can get your own sales funnel blueprints just like this and download them for yourself, as well as get a hold of me if you want to actually get together and get some help for your sales funnels. And thanks for watching this. I will see you in the next video.